see there the marked improvement um, and you've got to understand today you've got you know a lot of rain and the roads wet so your motor cars and lorries make a much you know a different noise you know hissing and as you see when we was coming through the village earlier as I say when we was coming through the village earlier we had a bus there that stopped for us that we had to go round the front of it and down the side so that was good the reaction was very good to that because there's not many buses at all really um, we get one a day coming through the village um, and you never know what time exactly it's going to come so you know there is a marked improvement in her and she's a lot happier with other stuff coming up behind her especially stuff that lingers so say for instance you've got a trailer behind behind a you know a four-wheel drive or something to pick up it's got a bit of rattly stuff it's all right it coming past but it's a bit of an example now for instance we've got a truck behind us so as soon as i get down here a bit i'll let him know all right you know and call him on so he can see where he's going and there's not a problem Oh, there's another motor coming now, so I can't do much about it. But we can be over here and just stop here a little bit for this man to come. So, another, another truck is coming down. Look, big old truck. But her recovery rate is getting better and better. And as I said earlier on the as I said earlier on the, the film, everything else is lovely. It's got no problem with anything else you want to do regarding harness work. You know, standing still at a junction, all them things are good. And it's just these lorries and big trucks. I don't think that's a terrible reaction for me as a, as a trainer. That does not mean that it's suitable for the, you know, whoever's going to drive the horse, whoever that may be. You know, um, you know, an experienced driver, a novice driver, or whatever. The horse has got to be safe, confident, and happy on the road. And the only way you're going to do that is put miles on the clock and miles take time you know and there's not much else i can say about that really and i can't or you can't hurry a horse up what you can do is as i said to you earlier it's worn a set of shoes out in less than a month you know and they're driving plates so the i.e the shoes are a little bit wider a little bit thicker more so wider than thickness um and you know she's already showing wear on these you know in a fortnight and they've, had, they've been on there uh, roughly speaking you know 16 17 days so she's been out she's covered the ground but it, you know it, it, she definitely will um improve but just how long that will take i don't know now you yeah, another driver would come here, someone that owned the horse and say, okay, which obviously they do, they come out and have a drive because they've got to say whether, it's not my decision, it's their decision, they say, yes, I'm happy to take this horse home, yeah? But it's, um, it's just taken longer. And, you know, for me, the mystery is why, you know, why? When everything else is so good, what's the problem? And there's, you know, nothing's out the ordinary at all's happened, you know, I mean, so I really don't know. But then, you know, anyone that tells you they know horses inside out, it's not telling the truth anyway. So we've got another one coming up behind us now, a biggish truck. So, and these people coming towards us, so they're lovely, aren't they? You know, they're slowing right down and like this van here. You've got to say thank you. Um, I don't really mind um, if they're coming on faster than that. Uh, 
because don't mean to say when the horse goes home everybody's you know going to be as nice are they you get some people are bloody rude on the road as far as horses go come on baby there's a good girl and she's got a lovely head carriage she's going along there she's skipping she's happy towel off of her ears one ear back one ear forward you know she's not locked back on me the whole time trying to um you know dad 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 what's happening have you seen this look i'm not happy you know i'm like that there's none of that so it's just uh one of those don't know things you know just can't tell you but that's all she's for you got a big truck behind us so he can't come because of these couple of motor cars here and he's hanging back behind us a bit um to be you know he's not crowding us which is lovely isn't it um which is very kind and considerate you know? but most people are really to be perfectly honest you know see there a nice you know not a bad reaction at all now as i was saying earlier in the film when things are traveling behind her and they're there for what she considers too long a time then we get that reaction of oh my god what's that you know and it builds up and builds up in her well that's left her now because that lorry's been traveling behind us for a fair way I don't know, you'd have to say about half a mile at least, you know, um, from when I first heard it. So, you know, not a bad reaction for a great big Arctic. And as I'm saying to you, unless you drive all she's out in the open, you cannot hear it in a motor car. And, if, you know, the noise is entirely different when you've got a wet road. And even being a wet road like this, it's been raining. And a wet, you know, when it's still raining and they're splashing through puddles, I'm making a tremendous, you know, amount of noise, really. Um, so the, the whole thing's different. So the whole picture in, in there for the horse is different. You've got a lot of noise splashing, everything like that. Even, you know, they, they can come along and literally so calls coming the other way just to spray off a lorry. So she's doing well. And every day she's getting better. But it's hard to put a time on it and also the young lady that owns this pony is as she said you know when she comes out of a yard she comes out on a busy road you know a very busy road so the horse has got to be all right now. and you know that takes time and what can i do i can do is, as much as i can do is put the miles on the clock and the only thing that ever made horse is miles that's without a question of doubt I'll qualify that by saying it's how you do the miles. So you're not going to do anything putting going around the sand school, are you, for instance? Um, or a country lane. So we put the miles on in every traffic because that's, you know, what people need, what, what they want. They want to be confident that they can drive their horse in, uh, in heavy traffic and everything would be okay. Now, at the end of the day, horse is an animal. You know, it's got a... Oh, you find out it's not a motor car, is it? I mean, um, we've got full control of a motor car. So the motor car being the motive, you know, the, the engine is... Everything else is down to you, isn't it? Where you steer it, how fast you go where you overtake, where you don't overtake, where you park, or anything, it's down to you. And the horse is the same way. They've got a lovely bus here screaming along, it's not hanging about, is it? And you pull the wind off it like that. So if you imagine it was raining now, we'd all be soaked um, when they're going that far, getting the spray coming up off the wheels. So all in all, she's coming on, you know, really well. The other thing is, to add to that, is the young lady will come down and drive it. Drive the, you know, a little primrose, a you know, little sugar plum, and it'll be her decision whether she takes it home or not. 
it cannot be whether she's happy with it. I can show her what the horse can do, you know, what a pony can do, and say, what do you think, you know, are you happy to take it home? If not, it can stay. And that goes for any horse that comes. You know, they'd normally do them in six weeks. And, and I would say 90% we're doing six weeks. And as I said to you before, it's either, you know, a, a, a tooth problem maybe, or can't get the farrier, lost the shoes, um, and it happens to be a bank holiday, you know, and that can run into a week before, you know. So you can work them, but you're limited to what you can do. And if they've already done all the arena and soft floor work, as we call it, you know, soft ground work, I should say, as we call it, then, you know, that's, you've done all that, you, you just repeat yourself. It's not a bad thing to do, but it's not advancing the job, is it? So, but normally 90% um, without any question, are not a problem, you know. But sometimes you get one like this and the only thing that's going to put it right is miles. So we'll be in Stockbridge in a minute and when, if there's anything interesting on the road, we'll film it for you so you can see. Good. So there you see a marked improvement and that one there is a skip lorry. I'm sure that's what that was. And obviously the chains that lift lift the container or dumpster up at the back of the lorry bang against the side of the container when they've got one on and, and they make you know if the, if the boom's not lifted up and taking a bit of strain and the chains rang and slack that can make a tremendous noise and you never know when it's going to happen you know so we'll be in Stockbridge in a minute it's the first roundabout coming up and there's a short run another roundabout and then we're up the high street which will stop and have a rest so she can stand there and watch traffic which is all part of the training obviously very important part and you know we'll have a, a drink and she'll have a nice drink out the river here, you know, the river's crystal clear that runs through Stockbridge, well it runs under Stockbridge High Street, um, and there's a couple of places you can get a nice bucket of water, and it's ice cold, and seriously crystal clear, the horses love it, we carry water with us all the time, but they'd far sooner have it out the river. come out the blue really we're coming round and round about coming see we've got a little horse box here these are funny actually little horse boxes the way they work because you can get them they'll um come on thank you if we are following one <laughs> you often see the horse react to the lorry because it's reacting to the smell coming off the lorry isn't it? <laughs> And you sometimes it'll call out, but he can't see where the horses are, you know. And sometimes when they get level with you and they're going slow, you know, they come past and all obviously people that drive horses in trucks are very aware of horses on the road. Um, so we've got an interesting situation now coming up, which is a beautiful one for us. You know, other people might be like, oh my God, you must be mad. We've got a nice big lorry, so what we're going to do is come over to the right hand side of the road so that we cling to the roundabout so we can turn right which will allow this truck to come up the inside um, come on come over both so you know you can see now the sort of traffic we get so we're bringing her over here onto these chevrons and the big truck up the inside can you see so big shiny and these silver containers or stainless steel um, containers, tankers, sometimes when they're brand new or very clean and they've been through the wash, if you get them and they're very shiny, I mean they're like a new one, the worst thing really, <laughs> and the all sees itself in there and it's a distorted horse's head, you know, <laughs> looks like a monster, yeah. but they relate to it, they can see it's all just a weird looking one. Okay, so this is the high street, and we get, as you say, a nice lot of traffic coming through. Obviously, you've got the supplies to the shops like this lorry here. I think my chef has been supplying, you know, one or two of the food outlets, you know. Come on. 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 Come on.
come over, bud. That's a good boy. Up you go. Up you go, Goldie. And this, uh, being an old town years ago, they used to have sheep for sale up in the middle of the, the ice street. Consequently, the ice street being very wide, it's an old town. And the motor cars pulling like they do in America, you know, in the States and Canada where the roads are wider. And come up, baby. Come on. Come on. And she's been down here a good few times. So all this rubbish on the side of the road that wasn't there earlier on. I've already been down here once. But she take no notice of it. Look. You see what I mean? Everything else is good. It's just that one silly thing. So I just don't know. I can't tell you why. I'm just going to pull up here a minute. Oh, baby. Thank you. They've got another big old thing coming past, I think. Whoa, baby. So he's clunking and bumping behind us a bit, which would be good. Whoa, baby, stand still. Stand still. Stand still. And that weren't really, um, I know it's hard to believe, but unless you've been, you know, I don't mean to be, big editing anyway but I've been doing this a long time and that's more come on Dag let's get on you know are we standing here we don't normally stand here why are we standing here that type of thing you know what I mean but uh, you know uh, come over baby but I'm trying to let these so we can let lorries go past us like that and keeping over to the side but obviously <laughs> you have to be a bit wary keeping over to the side because you can get one jump in their car and start reversing out <laughs> they obviously can't see you <laughs> you know, until they're on their way. So, all in all, improving every day. Um, and it's just up to the young lady now when she thinks she's confident enough to take the horse on, you know. Take it home and, and enjoy driving it. It's a lovely, lovely thing. I mean, like them things on the side of the road. We were down here this morning, as I say, earlier on with one, and that wasn't there. I would notice things like, oh, mate, that wasn't there, you know. So, come on, baby. Up you go, Dolly. Come on, sugar plum, you little rascal. Up you go. We just pull in here and have a little blow. Come over, Dolly. That's it. Over you come, sweetie. Come over there. That's it. Oh, stand. And right in front of us, you can see them white railings. Well, that's the river coming under the road from underneath that building opposite. It comes right underneath there and flows into there. And then down between them houses, down onto the common. So that's where we'll get a bucket of water and we'll give her a nice drink. There's a smile on my face every time I hear that sound The rhythm of the hoops as they touch the ground And there's no better place I'd rather be Than with my same confident voice And there's no better place I'd rather be Than with my same Confident voice that's happy.